Today I am at Muir Woods National Monument. As I said, these trees are long survivors, and every single year, more of these trees grow. But have you wondered how? Well, let's take um, a look at the tree behind. As you can see, there are baby redwoods sprouting from the roots of these ancient trees. Whoa, but why do they sprout from the roots of the trees? Well, as you can see, there are humongous redwoods here and they're very ancient. And so they have a lot of water stored into these roots. Sprout from all of these ancient trees, then their roots will soak in all, some of the water too, which makes their environment to survive much, well, more watery and moist. But, I mean, sunlight, that's a crucial factor. How do they get sunlight? Because all of these trees are blocking the sunlight. Well, first of all, you have to know that, well, these trees are very resourceful. When I mean trees, I mean ancient trees. And these ancient trees, they find the perfect time to have their young with a wildfire. A wildfire might seem very terrifying to you because it might wipe out all of the redwoods in like one area. But the good thing is they will, it will only wipe out the ancient redwoods leaves because their bark is very, very, very thick. It's 12 inches. Because there's no like leaves in disturbance like up there, can you imagine how bare it is if all of the redwoods had no leaves? The sunlight has enough room to filter in. And that sunlight that filters in, it gives these young redwoods enough sunlight and water to survive. Isn't it a miracle of how these youngsters can grow into humongous trees? Yes, it is. This is a great example of a redwood sprouting from another ancient redwood's roots. Side by side, the ancient redwood is in the middle. Isn't it so spectacular? And look, there's a tree that is living diagonally just behind us. See, diagonally crisscrossing into the, the space between another tree. Isn't it marvelous? I mean, nature brings all sorts of things with us, to us. And as John Muir proclaims, when walking with nature, you will always receive more than you have seeked for. Nature is beautiful. It is the creator and designer of things. And also, the seeds, in, the seeds that grow into these redwoods are about as small as a tomato seed, which might surprise you because, whoa, I, I, even I can't believe that all of these big, tall, thick redwoods grow from such tiny seeds. Can't you?